Welcome one and welcome all back to the people's channel Orchids for Dummies. In today's video, I will be giving a tutorial to new beginners on the roots of the Phalaenopsis orchids. We will be talking about some of the things as far as what roots go out of the pot, what roots go in the pot, what color should they be, how to foliar feed, so forth and so on. So stay tuned. I wanted to show you a Phalaenopsis orchid that I have been foliar feeding using that seaweed kelp. And this Phalaenopsis orchid has definitely benefited the most. Throughout this video, you will see Phalaenopsis roots in all different colors. I will make sure to let you know what is a healthy root and what is not a healthy root. But you want to make sure that they have that tip growing. That tip means that they are actively growing, which means they are going to get even longer. Okay, so that is what you want. And even when you have a root tip like right here that does not have anything actively growing, honey, just give it a little time and she will start back growing. Now, these are called area roots. These are the roots that we're going to leave outside of the pot, okay? And as you can see, they are purple. Now, you hear a lot of people talking about once the roots are wet, it would turn green. So when you see a Phalaenopsis orchid that has purple roots, it's taken after the characteristic traits of that orchid. As you can see, the bottom of the leaf is actually purple okay letting you know that she has purple blooms okay now my phalaenopsis right here which is a memory plant that i named after my grandmother betty i am going to go through all of these roots and you will see some dead roots like this and you will see some nice healthy roots and area roots we're going to go through all of them and talk about what to cut, what not to cut. So let me put my gloves on, please stay tuned. Now remember, the roots that are outside of the pot typically are gonna be very strong and gray. Those are the roots that we're gonna leave outside of the pot. Okay, now as you can see, I already wet the media because that is going to help the roots expand. The roots that expand and are plush not mushy are the roots that we are not going to cut off okay now as you can see you have some roots that are um, black and you have some that are green now you have the black roots because that is not black mold that is actually going to be a chemical burn meaning that it was too much fertilizer in this pot now she has some big magnificent blooms so they they did a lot of fertilizing to get her to bloom and be so big. And as you can see, she has some deficiencies because you could tell they used a lot of nitrogen, okay, to make sure that she gave us a, gave us a lot of blooms. Now, this is a root right here that you want to make sure to either spray or cut off. That's going to be a little of that snow mold. If you are an unfamiliar with snow mold, guess what, baby? I've already done a video on it, and I will leave a video link above, okay? But as we can see, the roots does not look that look to be the prettiest as far as cosmetics, but we're not worried about cosmetics. We're worried about how will the orchid maintain itself. So with so many good roots, I will not be so afraid to cut off um, any bad roots that I come across. Black roots are, I mean, roots that are not that good, they're gonna be mushy and gushy. They're gonna be all broken like this right here, but I would not cut off the entire root, just the part that isn't any good. So where it gets green, I will cut right above it at an angle. That's how we're gonna cut roots, foul pals. Now you can see a lot of roots are different colors. When you have Phalaenopsis roots that are bright yellow or pale looking, that's because they have not had sun to photosynthesize. Now that does not mean you have to expose your roots thinking that if they are exposed and they're photosynthesizing that your Phalaenopsis orchid will be healthier and stronger. No, that's not what it means, honey. Do, do not go after that, okay? Now, um, thank God, most of these 
roots really are good. They are a little broken. Some are not the, in best of conditions, but they're all thick and plush, meaning that they are able to absorb nutrients, okay? This really right here is the only one I really saw. So getting the scissors, like I said, you're gonna cut right above, okay? Just like that. And no, we're not gonna put cinnamon on our roots, okay, foul pals? So, um, as you can see, this right here, a dead root, just pull it off. I left the little string part down here. These are okay, fell pals. The last thing you want to do is cut the roots on your Phalaenopsis orchid because it's just going to give it more stress. Now, if you have rotten roots, I will show you, fell pals, but you got to stay tuned. Here's another one we're going to make a little snip at. Okay, stay tuned. Welcome back, fell pals. So below is a Phalaenopsis orchid that does not have as pretty and best of roots that the other one has. So we're not gonna go through all of this cutting it off, okay? The bad part is the outer layer, okay, that has died off. The string part of it can still absorb nutrients as well as it will not break down and decay. Now, when you have something like this, look at this root right here where most of it, now this is solid, but ah, ooh, ooh, I'm sorry, I'm scared, I'm scared. So when you get to right there, all of it is mushy and gushy and then it just leads to nowhere. That's gonna be a root that we're gonna cut off with some clean scissors. And like I said, we're cutting it at an angle, okay? Right where it's some good at, okay? Let me let you see. You see right there. <gasps> okay. Oh, you can't even see. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. So we're gonna try to pull this off. Oh, oh, I'm scared, fail pals. I'm gonna have to cut it. But if you are not, if you're not scared like me, you could go ahead and do it. I don't know. I'm not used to it being black, honey. I'm not used to it being black, honey. I'm used to it being brown, but honey, black, honey. That's so, that's so different, honey. Mama ain't used to that, honey. So, honey, um, in this scenario, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more slicing and dicing than. I would want it to, because I'm afraid. <sighs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. This one is right all the way to the base. And Fail Pals, um, when you are dealing with an orchid like this that has like black mold on the bottom of it. I have a video showing you how to clean that up. I will leave a video link above, okay? <sighs> so these are not good roots. So when you pot it up, these little roots up here, the thick green ones are the ones that you want to put under some sphagnum moss, but you want it on top of bark. This down here, let me show you. All this down here, you want in the pot, okay? So, let me show you some more examples of healthy roots that are a different color. Stuff. Welcome back, foul pals, welcome back. So, this beautiful Phalaenopsis right here has been in this container almost a year from the original seller. As you can see, a lot of pale green looking type of roots, they are totally healthy it just means that they are at the bottom of the pot in an enclosed container where they are not able to photosynthesize beautiful strong healthy roots beautiful 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 this is what we want in our pot fail pals and you see a little red that's not going to be an infection that is okay fail pals 
Um, you see she has area roots as well. Now she has some roots up here that is dry off. That's okay. That's okay. As long as she has good roots, she is okay. Leave her alone. Do not go slicing and dicing. This Phalaenopsis is right here. You can see she has area roots that has died back as well. Now that is a, I would clip that off. Okay, just cosmetic purposes mostly. I would snip that off right here. Okay, but you can see the beautiful green healthy tips right there. And she has some roots that are high pink. You see the active green tips on them. So these are um, orchid roots that are okay. Okay, we kind of showed you the good ones and we showed you the bad ones. The only thing I have to do is show you how to pot them up. So you will get to see what roots are going to go in the pot and what roots are going to go out of the pot. As you can see, just me sitting in inside of the pot, naturally you're gonna have some roots to hang over. Automatically, you should assume those are the roots that you want out of the pot. Now, I chose to put it in a clay pot and at the bottom of the clay pot, because it has that big hole, I'm gonna put just a couple of packaging peanuts at the bottom. This, uh, this is complete styrofoam and not plastic, okay? So now that I have just a little styrofoam at the bottom for ventilation, I'm gonna go ahead and layer it with some bark. Okay, now that I put that bark in there, I'm gonna go ahead and add my secret recipe my eggshell calcium. As I add bark into it, I'm gonna turn it. That keeps the roots from just sitting on top of each other. Give it a shake. And once it won't turn anymore, just go ahead and add, fill it again. And so after a couple of times of shaking this up to get the bark in the middle of it as well, I'm gonna let you <laughs> I'm gonna let you see. So you can see the roots that are in the pot and the roots that are out of the pot. I hope that this video helped someone. If it did, please give it a like. Like this video, honey. Share it with the world and subscribe to the people's channel. Orchids for dummies. Until next time.